He's the Iron Man with a heart of gold. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Robert Downey Jr. pop culture moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite Downey Jr. moments from broader pop culture outside of film and television. Number 10. When he attends Comic-Con It's a given that Downey Jr. is a big deal at Comic-Con, seeing as how 2008's Iron Man pretty much sparked the current MCU frenzy. He could just walk in, not say a word, and still be treated like a king. But that's not his style. RDJ shows up with all the pizzazz of Tony Stark himself. Take the Iron Man 3 presser in 2012, when he danced through the crowd, or his appearance for Avengers Age of Ultron in 2014, when he threw roses out to the audience to express his admiration for fans. Number 9. When he drew Iron Man for charity Oh, this would be great. Yeah, we'll see how your art… Acting isn't Downey Jr.'s only art. He's also a musician, has a knack for graphic design, and fancies himself pretty handy with a pencil. In fact, during a sit-down with the Avengers cast on Jimmy Kimmel Live, RDJ was challenged to draw a picture of Iron Man during the commercial break that would be donated to charity. And a few short seconds later, he shocked the audience by revealing a stunning portrait of the armored Avenger. Okay, it turns out he pulled one over on us and drew a stick figure, but honestly, with this renaissance man, we probably would have believed it. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Here, here's, here's what I really want. <laughs> Number 8. When he recorded a jazz album And here's the song uh, from today, 5.30. Downey has sung on several soundtracks and, in 2004, released his own jazz and folk album titled The Futurist. It came after a turbulent time in his life, during which he couldn't get hired in Hollywood because of his past behavior, leading to a brief stint on the TV series Ally McBeal. Back doing movies full-time in 2003, RDJ was also busy writing songs for this album and creating the cover art. While critics weren't necessarily blown away by the album, it did manage to crack the Billboard Top 200 at number 121 and sold over 16,000 copies in its first week. Number 7. When he stomped on an extra's hand Actually, there's one funny story. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to remind you of it and you can tell it. During a press stop on The Graham Norton Show for Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows in 2011, Jude Law provided insight on what it was like working with Downey. Apparently, RDJ thought it would be hilarious to stomp on a wax dummy's hand, which turned out to belong to an extra. We always imagined him as a jokester on set, with his gleeful sense of humor and reputation for improvising lines. Law's enthusiastic recreation of the event and raucous laughter show just how much fun he had working with RDJ while shooting the movie. Hopefully, the extra thought it was worth it. And there's a big hand lying there and just stops <laughs> on its hand. Oh, and an extra cut. Oh, you love it! <laughs> Number six, when he played epic or fail with Ellen. I really think it's a fail. Uh, I'll give a counterpoint just in okay, case. Okay, great. In Ellen's epic or fail segment, Ellen, guests, and audience members have to guess how video clips will end in spectacular failure or epic success. What's great about this moment is that both Downey Jr. and Ellen have solid comedic timing and can see a fail coming from miles away. Although, predictably, Downey likes to be contrary whenever possible. All right. <laughs> While it takes them a few attempts to get on the same page, they correctly predict that the last two clips will end in disaster, both wearing the same cringeworthy expressions as their proven right. See that happening right there? Oh. <laughs> Number 5. When he gave Fallon a masterclass in acting When did you know that you wanted to be an actor? To be a world-class actor, one has to be a master of one's emotions, or as RDJ calls himself, an emotional chameleon. So, when Jimmy Fallon broke into The Tonight Show's long-running emotional interview bit with RDJ, we knew we were in for a show. As expected, Jimmy cracks up with laughter while Downey Jr. plays it straight. No, no I guess I get millions of it's people. It's enough out of you. When I... <laughs> Watching RDJ flawlessly continue the interview as he switches from one emotion to the next is highly entertaining. But so is the fact that he brings it all back to Jimmy forgetting his birthday. Did you, ch you change your number? Did you change your phone number? No, same number for 10 years, buddy. <laughs> number 4. His Instagram account With 37 million followers, RDJ has a massive following on Instagram, and he's quite a frequent poster. A video post of himself posing with the Avengers cast and stroking Chris Evans' beard to boot has over 3 million likes. 
The rest of the content ranges from promotional to completely random, but it's always entertaining. There's backstage footage of himself, along with the entire Avengers cast, singing Happy Birthday to the first Iron Man film, shots of himself and his wife on their travels across the globe, and of course, there's RDJ hugging a tree, because, well, why not hug a tree? Number three, when he thanked his wife at the Golden Globes. Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes. When Downey Jr. took home the Best Supporting Actor Golden Globe for his performance as Sherlock Holmes in Guy Ritchie's 2009 film of the same name, one of the first things he did was thank his supportive wife for thinking Matt Damon was gonna win. You know it's love when you can be that honest with your significant other. First of all, I'd like to thank Susan Downey for telling me that Matt Damon was going to win, so don't bother to prepare a speech. Downey's sarcastic speech was a refreshing change, as he insisted he was not gonna thank anyone. But the gratitude and love shone through, especially when he credited his wife for helping him pull his life together. I mean, I really don't want to thank my wife because I could be busting tables at the Daily Grill right now if not for her. <laughs> Number two, when he appeared in Elton John's music video. Just as Elton John sings in I Want Love, Downey has seen a lot of traffic. His substance abuse problems led to prison time in the 90s and noughties, but after rehab in 2001, he was ready for his comeback. His appearance in the music video for Elton John's I Want Love marks the rejuvenating point in his career. The understated but sincere performance he delivers makes the video, and led to his return to mainstream film roles. Given where he stands today career-wise, we think he's done pretty well for himself. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I'm uh, stuck on the feet. You're right, it's hooked, not stuck. <laughs> That's for reals. Oh, hi. Okay, nice long line to impress the camera. Love it. So, uh, It's My Party and I'll Cry If I Want To was playing in those old, like, Vietnam era footage. Wow. Then a bunch of other stuff happened. And then at the end, I required people to go down a yellow slide into a ball pit. Number one, when he uses his powers for good. God, dude, it's even cooler than I thought. After Downey Jr. faced his demons and made one of the biggest career comebacks in film history, he didn't forget what it's like to be someone going through hard times. In the years since, he's used his fame and fortune to support a wide range of charities. In 2015, he appeared in character as Tony Stark to present a young boy who was missing an arm with a bionic, Iron Man-themed prosthetic. He's also become a regular with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, where he's twice sworn in critically ill children as honorary Avengers. And in 2016, he and his wife started their own charity, called Random Act Funding, which raises money for other nonprofits. Each one looks the same. Actually, I think yours might be better than mine. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.